I'm your host, and I'd want to say hello to everyone and welcome you back to the Coins Alert Your Home for your cryptocurrency fix. The Ripple of Van Winkle, I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day out there. Today is Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. Don't forget that April 23rd, boy, oh boy, my voice is cracking like no other. Excuse me, still a little under the weather, still a little sick. It is what it is. What are you going to do about it? We still fight through. We still push through, folks. Interesting times in the markets ahead. What? Are we seeing a lot of people are talking about a crash? Have you noticed that I have, we see people talking about a crash. We see people talking about a correction. What are the two things? Quite a bit of time was spent discussing this topic. We are going to get into it in a little bit later, and we are going to talk about spring 2024. This is your guide to dealing with the volatility of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoins are even going to rip and blow, or we are going to see the liquidity zones grad emerge. In this section, we are going to discuss the lawsuit that was filed against Ripple, we are going to look at some price charts for XRP, and then we are going to discuss Bitcoin, its current levels, and where it might go in the future. Without further ado, let's get started. In the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has increased by 0.25%, reaching $66,218. Ethereum is presently trading at 3,188, representing a decrease of 0.37%. Both USDT and USDC are currently trading at 99.99 cents, and XRP is currently trading at 54 cents. Although we did reach a high of 56 cents not too long ago, it is still trading higher than it was 24 hours ago. 1.89% of the total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies, therefore, these are the current numbers that we are sitting at where we are stuck and wondering where we are going to go from here. It is currently in the red, which is 2 trillion 453 billion. Yes. That is the question that everyone is curious about. It is still a little cloudy this morning, but I do believe that we are going to be headed up in a short amount of time. However, the question that remains is whether or not we will drop down before then. I wish my crystal ball was working. They are virtually sold out, and it is possible that they may be retired for good. Who knows what type of mood they will be in at one point on the list. If you don't hold back your wild, wild west tears, you should purchase them now. XRP back every single month, you will have the ability to breed them in the lab. If you get three, I'm gonna give you a free potion, which will give you a little taste to check out our lab. If you get five, you get five, you get a free potion and a minimalist NFT, which you can see right here in the picture, this is a minimalist NFT. They are freaking fire. Now I went on a rant this morning about this and I'm still fired up about it. I am so sick and tired of these projects coming over to the XRP ledger, making NFTs doing absolutely nothing and then crying no one is buying their NFTs anymore. It's your own fault. It is your own fault, right? Mickey said or Mikkel pardon. Me, he said the best thing since Moon Chaser put this out okay, and I'm not concerned the XRP Ledger Architects granted 80 billion XRP to Ripple for the purpose of developing use cases for the digital asset the XRP Ledger released in June of 2012. Let's speak about the grants that he goes to. Let's talk about or admit the elephant in the room, which is that developer activity on the XRP Ledger might be better. We have seen a few projects even leave or acknowledge that they are constructing cross-chain for many different reasons. How is the ecosystem performing today? As each new XRP ledger standard is approved, it opens the door to new use cases and potentially new fascinating initiatives inside the XRP ledger ecosystem. As a result, I am hoping that projects will not be required to move in order to continue existing. The construction of a Web3 presents a number of issues. Suspiciously put, basic things like setting up a bank account can even be challenging blah blah blah. Then it goes on to hear all of the big project building are associated with the XRP ledger are dependent on not only the funding, but the resources that only Ripple can survive false. This is false if. You need funding for your project to survive. You never had a project same thing. If you are looking to buy something in. The real world and you need to use a credit card, you probably shouldn't be buying it because you don't have the freaking money. Mikkel said businesses should be profitable and not dependent on grants to survive good businesses will flourish while bad ones will fail. We need more successful businesses. On the XRP ledger, yes, yes, spot on 100% here. I replied to this somewhere well said, Mikkel, exactly what I've been saying. If you need a grant to survive, you probably shouldn't have started a project or a business. Lux never received the grant. We never received any money and we sell hundreds of hundreds of NFTs per month. These people are nuts. You don't have a project if you need someone to fund it. Come on, dude. Spring 2024 guy, you should be able to handle the volatility of the cryptocurrency market. Check out the crypto news article. Your project ought to be more than capable of running on its own. Relax, my news website is here to cover everything. XRP is the best and worst of all things. There are no advertisements on it. It is stunningly beautiful and simple to read. You should read that article in order to make it through the year 2024. In a nutshell, Bill Morgan stated that he believes this argument to be correct 
and that it should not be awarded in a manner that would provide investors with a windfall. If visitors are interested in applying to Govel and ordering no disengagement, Ripple appears to be in good form. Listen to the Ripple versus defense against the dark, prepare your cup of coffee. The price of XRP is about to form a significant pattern, a moment that has the potential to determine its future emphasis on the three candles that have just passed. There you have it, April, May, and June. He has these thoughts about the representative. I believe that it is about to get rough with them. I believe that we all get started or that this gets started more generally. I believe that if we are able to get past and get through that 75 cent region, then we will be able to start talking about that dial 30 region, which is where we want to see XRP by the end of the year. And we will get XRP up to that dial 30 region anywhere above $1.30 before the end of the year next year in the first quarter. June is the month in which we will have our first push up. We need to get through 75 cents, which is the first target. This is the first move. Get ready because XRP is about to shatter its all time high. We are going to be jumping for joy, and we are going to be wondering how high this thing is going to go. Since we haven't seen an all-time high since 2017, we deserve a freaking all-time high. Credible cryptocurrency claims that highs have been taken as expected. In terms of the potential drawbacks, the following are the areas of interest that I am searching for. Let's see if we can get rid of it now. Any of these two densely vegetated areas, I'm going to blow this up. He just sent out this tweet, and it's his first one. You know that the 63, 64,000 region may break even lower. If that happens, keep in mind that the zone between 60 and 64,000 is where we may go down. If 60,000 is broken, we're going to be looking into the 50s, but your first stop is 60 to 64. Because he believes that we are going to dump the current price of 66 cents, we could dump from here, we could see that dump, and then once that dump comes in, what is the point at which we are going to make that push to the upside? And that is where we need to pay attention to that 74,000 region. Bitcoin has broken 174, triple zero, it is time to go, and there will be no stopping. BTC is going to reach 100, 125, 130, and 150,000. There is no need to get impatient here, absolutely no need okay, just relax, you still have a little bit of time to accumulate okay, we are down, and when we were a couple of months ago, so you got time to accumulate if that is what you want to do, if you do not want to accumulate, if you are happy with your bags because this is going to be one of the longest bull runs you have ever seen in your lives. It is going to be one of the longest bull runs you have ever seen. Simply take a seat, get the popcorn ready, and enjoy the show because when we look at the markets on April 23rd, 2025, you are not going to recognize these markets, folks. They are going to be so different that we are going to have 5, 7, 10, or $13 trillion invested in them. By itself, Bitcoin is going to consume approximately $2 trillion and XRP is going to increase to three, six, nine, thirteen dollars The targets are looking amazing, and the Ripple litigation is coming to a conclusion. Ethereum is going to be eight to 10, and Chainlink is going to be anywhere from 15 to like 200 all the way up to 500. In the meantime, keep an eye on Bitcoin and keep in mind that whatever Bitcoin does is going to have an effect on the rest of the market. We are aware of how it operates, so if you don't already have a Luxline Wild Wild West NFT, you should go get it right away, check it out, and subscribe to the LuxLine's number one project on the XRP ledger. In the meantime, wash your damn hands. You should be kind to each other and Ripple Vertical is out of the question.